You've been busy, huh? I thought I'd be stuck in the OTA dorms. You will be soon. But after OTAs, the keys are all yours. Yo, this is a real nice spot. Have to get it right. No mansions on the rookie deal, so this is going to be home base for a while. <laughs> Bye. So what's this business you want to talk about? <sighs> what's this about? It's a housewarming gift. From both of us. She acting like it's all her. Yo! So, what'd you think? So, you killed it, bro! I collaborated with the design team to customize your pee. Had to add that personal touch, you know? <laughs> I cannot believe I have my own shoe, yo! Hey, yo, new phone. Who this? <laughs> Say hello to my new shoe, fam. Probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's certainly on fire at the moment. He looks fit, he looks sharp, and he's full of confidence. He's just been too hot to handle. And I fully expect him to score again today and eventually break that record. We have all the action live. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. A decisive clearance it was. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, a 4 4 2 system relies on good. Oh, points. wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned, Derek. And you have to say their football has been exhilarating at times. If they can keep everybody fit, they should win the title comfortably. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And will it be the leveller? Oh, it was there for him to get them on level terms. Well, join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bournemouth. It's now 1-0 with 21 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Gabriel Jesus. Rice. And return to Gabriel Jesus. Can they produce something? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising.
Douglas Luiz. Here's Matty Cash. Vicente. It's with Camara. Douglas Luiz. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Well, in position to make it a brace, but not to be. Well, he's certainly been a threat in this game. He's looked so lively. And he's fired over the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Bubakar Kamara. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Space and time for Arsenal. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. That's a good looking ball. And Gabriel Jesus, he's in behind. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And what a clinical finish this is from Jesus. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. Well, he knows this is going to be a tough game now. He's got to get his side playing again here. And the referee's whistle, meaning that the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Villa Park. So back underway here into the second half. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Oh, could be a chance. And fine goalkeeping. <laughs> Favoring the short one. Marcinelli. And still looking to get the shot off. Well, it's fair to say he's been across all the back pages and the focus of social media as well, leading into this game. Facing a his big forward. moment here, Derek. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, they love him and he loves them. It's great scenes here. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Borja Iglesias. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And passing it through. Very quick thinking there. Vicente. Now brilliant work to keep that one in play. Chance to play it in. Can he finish this? And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal.
No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Gabriel Martinelli Arsenal have given it away and Arsenal now find themselves in potential goes the whistle for full time the Villa fans will leave the stadium happy on the back of this victory well fairly comfortable in the end wasn't it thought they controlled the middle of the park well going forward there was some really nice incisive play too it's a good result for them of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment that's what today is all about a meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd not to mention the eyes of the wider football world follow every twist and turn right and welcome everyone to england's northwest the action soon to get underway here at old trafford I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Manchester United up against Aston Villa. Oh, that's a fine save. Now sending it in. And the danger's still on. Bailey. Out. And I'm sure the visitors will be thinking about claiming all three points here, Stuart. They do know that if results go their way, they could end the day at the summit. Well, at this stage of the season, Derek, the table starts to reflect the true quality of the teams. And I have to say, they've been excellent so far. Let's hope they're at their best today. Now well, there to intercept. Bruno Fernandes. Decides to shoot. Oh, he saved it well. Vicente. Ramsey. Chance to do damage. Well, only just wide of the post. Good move in the making. Bruno Fernandes. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And can they exploit the space out wide? And crossed in there. Threat over for now, it seems. And stopping the danger. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Has eyes for goal. Reading it well. Denied again. And so the referee blows the whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Old Trafford. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Fernandes. Opportunity to go ahead. Opportunity missed. Well, he can't believe his side haven't taken the lead there. That was a big chance. Well, he senses a goal is coming here. Superb effort to keep it in. And options in the centre. The header had just a bit too much height on it. Well, that was a good bit of play. The cross, the movement and the determination were excellent, but not the end product. Well, what a chance to take the lead, and doesn't he know it? But will they get a better one than that? Cash. Pau Torres. Vicente. Well, a really good run. 
It should be. In it goes. The goal for 1-0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. Action underway once more. Let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game. Rashford. It's a clever run here from Rashford. Trying to open them up. They keep plugging away. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted merely minutes. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Diego Carlos. Vicente. Diaby. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. It's going to be United's free kick. Well, he must proceed with great care. Could easily have been cautioned. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Time running out, but they could yet win it. Pau Torres. Douglas Luiz. And he takes it on. And fine goalkeeping. Well, it wouldn't stay in play for them. Goal kick. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can United find that moment of magic to win the game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Well, three minutes of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Carvajal. Could play it in. Tremendous block. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. We were triggered to goals, and Stuart, interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play, and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. What would this great sport be without Derby passion? Two teams who know plenty about each other, but aren't very fond of each other. And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Aston Villa. Well, there's nothing like a good cup run to boost confidence. And these two teams will be hoping this could be their year to win this tournament. Yes, there's a long way to go, but this is still a big game for both teams. Splendid defending. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Huge block. 
Well, after pressing like that, maybe the short route to goal. Now, far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, I think that picture tells you everything. He's not in agreement with the referee on that one. Firing it towards goal! A goal! They've opened the scoring in the derby! And I'll tell you what, you can hear a pin drop in here. Well, here it is again. And honestly, I can't believe he's taken this on. It's an incredible strike to beat the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Could he have done better? I'm not sure. But let's just admire the goal. Stunning free kick. So the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from Wolves? There needs to be. He's going forward well here. Looks as though he's alone in the centre. Can he take this chance? They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Has eyes for goal! Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike! Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant! Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. Well, Unai Emery looks very pleased, doesn't he? His side have been excellent today. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Lemina. Well, no way through. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. No more time left. That will conclude the first half here at Molyneux. So back underway here into the second half. Outdoing his opponent. Can he take the chance? Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Well, he'll certainly bring much-needed experience to them. Let's just hope he's still got the legs to have a real impact. I think he'd do well. And he read it really well. Fine save. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Clearance left a bit to be desired. Oh, a tremendous block. The supporters want to see him have a go. A chance to eat into their lead. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And he's fired over the corner. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. And a fine stop. And they're making a change. Oh. 
Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League. Oh, it's through and goal here, Derek. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Bailey, and quick thinking defensively. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. And everyone in the centre looking on as it sailed over them. So the corner played into the box. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Sarabia. And it's gone behind for the corner. Well, he made the catch under pressure. Well, I have to say, the crowd are right. They need to start winning the ball back higher up the pitch. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Still a chance. Angles it back. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, the result was never in doubt, was it? They controlled the game from start to finish. They created numerous chances, and they dictated the tempo. A very comfortable win.